Alfonso de Medici, and I'm here to tell you how my family impacted the Renaissance in two main ways. First, I'm going to tell you about our bank and about our love for art. In 1393, one of our relatives named Giovanni de Medici de Medici took over the Roman branch of a bank owned by one of his cousins. In 1393, Giovanni moved headquarters and opened the first Medici Bank. Later, branches in Venice and Geneva opened. Although our bank eventually went out of business, we were one of the first families to rise to social and political power. Art is a big part of our family. Because of our wealth, we could buy lots of art. We opened our home to many artists. Our house is a good place for artists to meet each other and our family. We are patrons for artists. We make their art more well known and help strengthen their careers. These are some ways we helped impact the Renaissance. Michelangelo was the most influential sculptor in the Renaissance. Michelangelo had very many pieces. His most famous piece David has encouraged and inspired many sculptors. He was admired so greatly because his work was influenced by humans. Michelangelo inspired so many sculptors. My name is Giorgio Vasari. I was greatly influenced by him. What a happy age we live in and how fortunate are our craftsmen who have been given light and vision by Michelangelo. One of my pieces, David, was one of the first sculptors to portray humanist ideals such as independence and individuality. The statue is so natural, it is almost impossible to believe it was not molded on the human form. A good example of a humanism influence sculpture is my sculpture David. You see here how it's freestanding? That shows independence. In fact, the definition of freestanding is not relying on or linked to anything else. Independence, which is pretty much humanism in a nutshell. Many say that David's expression shows the concentration and technician of a real youth on the verge of battle. During this time, many sculptors began focusing on making stories more realistic by portraying real emotions. I'm a medieval sculptor. Sculptures in this era are very rare and are based on religion. Because I can't read or do basic math, my sculptures are unproportional and I am incapable of creating freestanding sculptures. So I make reliefs, which are sculptures that are attached to a wall. In this era, we often do Romanesque art, then we try to copy ancient works, or the Gothic style, which makes everything look more expressive and lifelike. Many art in this era are very gruesome. Hello students, look at the medieval sculpture back at me. The medieval sculpture now back at me. Sadly, he isn't me. But due to my more advanced knowledge in math and science, I can create masterpieces and equestrian statues. This is because I use humanism. Look down. Back up. Where are you? You are in Florence, sponsored by the Medici, who were large sponsors for art. Anything is possible if your brain uses humanism instead of whatever the medieval people use. Can I, can I hear my script? <laughs> Hi, 
Bye, Dad. Okay, go. Talk loudly. Okay, go. Go. Not funny. No, guys, we're all gonna get it out, Okay. Oh, yes. Wait, Kira, you know you're supposed to have, like, facts inside of this scene, right? <laughs> oh, wait, say, say it. Michael and oh. Who have been given light and vision by Michelangelo. She went to take it. I was like, oh, man. Oh, wait, it's still going.